This video will show the hardware and software changes that configure the Atom 6017 module to read current 4 to 20 milliamp on the first analog input channel. Ensure your computer has .NET 2.0 installed before proceeding. Follow these instructions to obtain the latest configuration and diagnostics utility. Loosen but do not remove the two silver screws on the front of the module. The DIN rail mount will be detached from the back. Turn the module over and remove the two black screws. You can now split the module casing and expose the circuit board. Each analog input channel has a jumper to select the voltage versus current. They are labeled JP2 through JP9. For this example, I will be changing the position of JP6, which controls the first analog input channel, labeled VN0. Now I have turned the module upside down and zoomed into JP6. Move the jumper to pins 1 and 2 toward the arrow printed on the circuit board. Reassemble the module, replace the black screws, and reattach the DIN rail mount. Wire the plus, VS, and ground terminals in the lower right to a 10 to 30 volt DC power supply. Wire VN0 plus and minus to a sensor. Attach the module to your Ethernet network. Now we will configure the computer, navigate to the network connections, and open the properties of local area connection. Enter a static IP address for this example, it will be 10.0.0.11. The default subnet mask will work fine. Now launch the atom.net installer from the zip file. Choose all of the defaults, clicking Next. After the files are copied, click Finish. A icon to launch the Atom.net utility has been placed on your desktop. In the left window pane, select the Ethernet tree. Click the magnifying glass in the toolbar to search for available modules. Click the newly discovered module in the tree. If you were going to change the IP address of the module, you could do that in the Network tab. For now, click the sub-entry of the module in the left window panel tree. Enter the default password of eight zeros. By default, the analog input channels are set to the voltage input range. Select one of the current ranges from the drop-down box and choose Apply. Now I will vary the input current of the VN0 terminals. You can see the milliamps increase in the display box for that channel. Thank you for watching this video on configuring the Atom 6017 module for current input.